When we're building tests for our system, we have to think carefully about exactly what we should test. In this video, I'll talk about using asserts to make tests for C code and using border cases as a strategy for building tests that are likely to catch errors in conditional statements. There are frameworks that provide JUnit type testing environments for C. However, since there's not one winner in that category, I'm just going to use the assert statement that is native in C to build my tests. An assert statement just takes a condition as an argument. If the condition is true, everything keeps running. If it's false, the program will crash. These are usually used while the program is in development to check things like preconditions and the validity of arguments, but we'll use them to let our tests verify behavior. We'll make a main that runs the tests and get behavior similar to testing frameworks like JLUnit, with the sad exception that a single failing test will stop the rest of the tests from running. Perhaps that will keep us motivated to build things a little bit at a time so that no more than one test is failing anyway. Doing this is going to require that we put the tests in one file and our production code in another file. If you need help knowing how to do that, check out the link above. When we think about testing whether a conditional is coded correctly, it's clear that we cannot test every possible value. For example, if the condition involved just one int, that would be 2 billion test cases. So, we need to focus our tests on values where we are likely to have an error. One strategy for finding those values is border cases. A border case is a situation where a small change in values causes a fundamentally different behavior. As an example of why border cases are good points to test, let's think about a function whose job is to return 1 if a grade is higher than 99 and 0 otherwise. For that function, our border case is the values 99 and 100 because that's where the behavior changes. Notice that a border case is always two values, one on each side of the border. The correct condition for this case is when the score is greater than or equal to 100. But suppose I forgot that equal sign. Then the code would have a border at 100 and 101 instead of the required 99 and 100. If we tested at the two points of the required border case, we would catch this bug because the behavior at 100 would be incorrect. This kind of error is called an off by one error, and they are really common. So our testing strategy will be to focus on values where we're most likely to find a defect. For conditionals, that will be at the borders that are the two values that are close to each other but cause different behaviors. We'll make our tests check both sides of that border, and this is what it will look like in our tests. Two asserts, one small change in input, checking different return values. For a simple conditional, there's only one border case, and things will look like this. This function returns one of two values, and the border is between 79, which is not good enough, and 80, which is good enough. You can see that in our test as two asserts, testing the values 79 and 80. If we have more conditionals, we'll have more border cases. With the three options function, there are three possible return values, and the borders are 89 to 90 and 79 to 80. Two borders means that we need four asserts, two for the first border and two for the second border. This goes on and on as our code gets more complicated. This one has five possible return values, which means four border cases. Can you find the pairs? I've given you a number line in case that helps. Border cases are a really good strategy for finding good places to test in conditionals. And it turns out it's a good strategy in other structures as well. As we talk about other control structures, we'll talk about where their border cases are too. 